Hello everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. Do check my website dancingwithdata.com and if you are coming here for the first time, do subscribe to my channel if my videos are making sense to you. All of my videos are having Tableau workbook along with it to enhance your level of experience. All the corresponding links will be there at my description below. So in today's video, I'll show you that how you can have this cool reset button and what are the advantages. Ideally, this feature should have been already there, but it's not there. Then yes, this, this workbook will be at your description so that you can test the enhancement that you're talking about. Okay, but then what's the problem? The problem statement is that I come to this very particular dashboard to select for multiple fuel types. And also I will go and pick multiple make and type over there. And as I pick multiple make and type, uh, you will see the visual will change according to the same, right? And now I have analyzed my worksheet over there. Maybe I can put that into the presentation mode as you can see. But now I, I just want to go back now, right? And every time I come over here, I have to just go back to fuel type and make it all uh, make and type and make it all again. And if there are more than two filters, then again, more waste of time. So the solution is this cute little reset button for you. I click on that and boom, all and all, our life is sorted. But how can you make this uh, reset button Hold on, hold on. I'll tell you link to this icon so that you can download this particular icon uh, that will help you to make a, re a relevant button having the relevant icon with you. So I am doing it right from the scratch because everything I do, I, I do it for you. And this is a reset. I will write reset over there. And that's it. Uh, the next step would be to hide this. Okay, that's great. And I go with the shapes and the shape that I'm talking about, right? Uh, ensure that you get your shape from the description below. I've created one folder called generic. So it's there and apply and say, okay. So I'm good. I've got uh, uh, the shape. Maybe I can increase the size a little bit. Uh, that's enough. And now the next particular step would be to give it a name as reset. Okay reset sheet and I'll go back to my dashboard which is emission environment and I pull my reset button there okay make it float floating pull to the right right hand side and let me hide the title there A little bit of readjustment is needed that we will do. I think the icon is self-sufficient, so I am I'm just uh, hiding this header as well. Also, I need to remove these row lines over there, so I'll format it. So inside uh, borders, rows, you, you see row divider, right? So we have to just make it none and we are good. Okay, this looks good, but then what next? I need to go to the dashboard and create an action. I need to add filter action. I give the name of this filter action as a reset. And source would be my reset button over there. Okay. And I need to remove reset from the target sheet. Now you need to pick. Now this is the thing that you need to understand. So whatever filters you want to apply this reset button to should be the part of your selected fields over there. So if you see, if we see our dashboard, I'm just coming out for a while to show you that. So we have uh, fuel type and make and type. So we need to make use of these two fields. No worries, we can add the action once again. Here you go. Again, I can do that. Reset. And so this would be source and the other sheets would be the target. And I need to pick selected fields. So one would be the fuel type, another would be the make. Right. So first is fuel type. And another is the make and type. You need you, you need not to worry about this field. The error or, or the warning which says missing field on reset. Just ignore this and say okay. 
and say OK. OK, now I will pick diesel and LPG. And mark type would be Alfa Romeo, Alfa Romeo 955, Alfa Romeo 940, 939. And I can see the corresponding bar getting changed. OK, now, now for the second time, I need to make some analysis, but I need to reset the button. Right, so I need not to go and one by one make it all, but I can just go and one thing <laughs> we forgot something in the settings. You have to go, okay? We'll go again, not a problem at all. This sheet we have this filter. What we forgot, we forgot to make it show all values. Right, when you clear the selection, when you click over there, it should show all the values you know that's that's what we need to do so now if i click on that here you go all is there all is there great job let me publish this to the public so that you can make full use of it publish this workbook because everything i do i do it for you okay it seems like it's published i'm allowing access you to download as well so it's published the link will be there in the description it's a bit distorted but you are more concerned with the function you should be more concerned with the functionality over there so i keep it as it is so if my videos are making sense do subscribe and uh, if you don't subscribe jo soya wo khoya bye bye keep on dancing with data